Hello, hi, and welcome back to Jolly Julie's Crafts. My name is Jillian. I love I upload videos every Tuesday. Please, if you like this video, remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Um, as you can see, there is a mess, which means it is crafting day. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move you down to my hands so you can see what my hands are doing. So give me a second. Okay, so I saw this really cute um, picture and I thought that I would redo it. And what it is, is it's you take a little ladder and then you put stuff on it for fall. Um, so what this is here, you can see this is a makeshift ladder. I found this table on the side of the street and I saw it had like even more rungs, but I took them out and I said, oh my gosh, that would be perfect. I wouldn't have to create anything except I would just have to modify it. So I grabbed this, I sanded it down, I glued the pegs in with some wood glue, and then I mod podged the whole thing. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to do two things to put on top of it. So this is from Dollar Tree, okay? And what I did is I just wrote Happy Fall into it. But I think it's looking a little plain, so what I'm going to be doing is I will be um, taking some of these rub-on transfers and putting it in the top, okay? And then the second thing that's going on there is a little tiny wreath. So these are from Dollar Tree and they're they're two piece eight inch rings. Rings, wreath rings, wreath rings? They're called wreath rings. They are a dollar fifty, which is tiki boo, but whatever, it's fine. There's two of them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this really pretty ribbon, this fall themed ribbon, and I'm just gonna wrap the um, the wreath with it. So take one, put it aside. Um, and also I mod podge this so in here. I did use a Sharpie, but I mod podged it first because it's kind of a wood grain and I was afraid that the, the wood grain would make the marker, you know, expand. How it, sometimes if you put marker on wood grain, the, the marker soaks into the wood grain and then it doesn't look crisp and sharp. So I did do that before I wrote anything in there. Um, that being said, what we're just gonna do now is we're gonna, this is I think from last year. This is from Dollarama last year, last fall. I'm not sure if they have ribbon out yet, um, but I thought it was a really pretty ribbon. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna hot glue it onto the back of the wreath form. Let me move this little guy out of the way because he's a bit distracting. Um, so what we're gonna do, like I said, is I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue onto the back of the wreath, wreath form on the top here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna put my little friend down here. And now remember kids, hot glue is hot. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of hold it there for a second. Let it kind of soak in. And just we're gonna wrap it around. It's really a pretty ribbon that we're using. So, gotten it around here. So we're just gonna keep wrapping it until it's completely wrapped, okay? I'm making a few of these so the trick is to just kind of make sure when you're pulling the ribbon down around here you pull it tight because you don't want it having like a weird shape to it at all um, so just kind of pull it back through here wrap it around pull it tight and then go over here now I'm hoping that I have two two rolls and I'm hoping that they're big enough to go around um, many three wreath forms. So we'll see about that, okay? All right, so now that I've shown you a little bit how to do it, I'm gonna put you guys on pause, um, and then I will come back to it once it's all put together. Okay, so we have this done now, okay? And the next thing we're gonna do is, because I think this is a little bit plain in here, I went ahead and I have these rub-on transfers. They're really, really cute, they're autumn ones. I wish I had purchased two packages, but I think I was only lucky enough to find one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll remove it from the backing. I'll put it down and I'll scratch it off um, because they're rub-on transfers. They're very similar to like, um, like Cricut or Silhouette things. Um, and you just see, so you take it, you put it down where you want it. Let me see if I have it. Put it down where you want it. You want it kind of right there a little bit. And if it's not in the right place, you can just pick it up and move it. Okay. Oh dear me. Come on, you little turkey. 
don't know if it's gonna start. Oh guys. Okay, hold on a second. I was trying to demonstrate too much. There we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Shoot. Alright, I gotta take that rub-on transfer off. These little puppies are funny to work with. Okay. So, the rub-on transfer kind of ended up where I didn't want it to go, but that's okay. That's fine. I'll pick it up and I'll put it right back where I wanted it, and then I'll put something else on it as well. Okay. Like I said in crafting, no one knows. No one except you knows what's happening. So sometimes little errors might happen, and that's okay. So let me just put that in, and then I'll put another row on transfer, put another leaf besides the pumpkin, and then, okay, perfect. They work really, really nice. Um, I just need to put a leaf in there so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, and I peeled off by mistake one of the pumpkins in another spot because it moved. So I think I might just replace it with a leaf, a bigger leaf. Yeah, because I need something there that's kind of like orangish-y. So I'm just gonna replace it with, there's a leaf here that I'm kind of eyeing up that will fit perfect in that spot. So, that's all right. See? With crafting, you just kind of have to go with the flow. Otherwise, you will get lost. And you'll get frustrated. And crafting is supposed to be fun, and it's not supposed to be frustrating. So, it's kind of like an outlet, right? So, now, I'm going to be very, very careful with the placement of this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I like that. Right there. Okay. Perfection. You can use your nail. So see, so it's right here. You can use your nail. I used this little guy um, earlier just to make sure it's on there. It's kind of like, and really, it works very, very well. So let's see. The the hardest thing about using these rub-on transfers, honestly, is picking up the backing, the plastic backing, um, when you're taking it off. It's a bit frustrating, actually. You don't have to use your nails in a way that you don't normally use them. So yeah. Uh, got it. Okay, perfect. So you see there now, it has, you can't even tell that there's a mistake. So, because it just looks pretty cute. There we go. So that made it a little bit more fancy. I might put another leaf though because I want it to be just a little bit longer. So I'm going to take this other leaf here and just put it on as well. And I want it to be just a bit longer. This is the fun of crafting. You can just do things randomly. Okay. Okay, so I want it to be just a little bit extra leaf on there. Get my guy. This is taking way longer than it should, guys. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, so there, that looks a bit better. Now, these are the two main things that are going to be on the ladder. Um, so, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to attach this guy here, and I like them to be a little bit off kilter from each other. So I might do kind of like this and like this, just because I want them to be not so perfect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach um, some pipe cleaners on the back of them, and then I'll attach the pipe cleaners on the back of the wreath and the pipe cleaners on the back of this, so I can just twist them on and in place. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some hot glue um, and get out a couple of pipe cleaners and glue it onto the back. So I'm gonna not make you, well, I'll show you how it works for the first one. Um, so you just need a bunch of hot glue and I'm just gonna attach it like right here, here. So what you do is you put the dollop of hot glue and you do this and then you just kind of wait for it to set up. And put enough hot glue so you don't have to worry about anything coming loose. Okay? And then you just wait for it to dry. So I'm not going to make you watch glue dry essentially so I'm going to pause the video and then I'll bring you back. Okay so boys and girls this is what it looks like from the back. So I glued the heck out of it back here. I found the position I wanted it on the front. I wanted it laying on these top two little stairs. And so I glued the heck of it on the back, but I also put this pipe cleaner guy on there just so I could secure it there first. And then I glued the heck out of it. It's really, really good. Um, on the back of the wreath, I also um, glued pipe cleaners and I just, um, put them on glued there and then on the front what I did is I glued under here and I glued under here because I wanted it to stick okay so it does look pretty neat but there is one more thing that we have to do to this to make it look more like the image that I saw that I wanted to recreate so here's this so it says happy fall has the pumpkins it has the wreath now the next thing that we're gonna do is I bought this foliage garland from Dollar Tree so quick reminder everything here except except for this guy is from Dollar Tree. Um, and this was a table that was just out on the side of the road. So you can really find good things if you have a look. Okay, so here's the garland. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it around and then bring it all the way back up. Now, this is a really, it's really pretty from Dollar Tree because it has the like, you know, the sparkle sparkle ones. Um, so I'm just gonna lay it down and kind of place it where I kind of wanna see it. Um, and once I have it where I want to see it, I'm going to glue it down. So you go around the top square, right? And then come down around the bottom. And we're going to wrap it around the bottom. And we're going to bring it around and just kind of back up again after that. So kind of place it where you want it. And then I'm going to put it under here and over that guy. And then I'm going to see how I like how it's placed. Okay. But you want to make sure that you go around. So kind of around, you don't really want it laying too much on anything. So I'm just gonna see if I like it like that. Okay, so I kind of like it like this. And then now all I have to do is I have to glue it down with my glue gun. So I'm just gonna start gluing up at the top here um, to make sure that this stays in place. And with a glue gun, you have to help kind of like let it set up a bit and put pressure on it. So I have one of these guys here. I'm just going to kind of put pressure where I put the glue because like I, like I say, remember people, the guns are hot. Um, see, I think, oops, yeah, there we go. There we go. I always burn myself with a glue gun. I love using a glue gun, but it never fails. I burn myself almost every single time. Now I want this to be up on the top a little bit more. So the nice thing about this is it's a garland, so you can just kind of put it where you want it and then it will follow where you put it. So I'm just kind of stick it up at the top here, put it down, grab my handy dandy little piece of wood that I'm using so I don't burn myself as I usually do every time I use a glue gun. I don't know why I love to use a glue gun so much if it hurts me. Why? Why? I don't know. Okay, so. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, um, cause you don't need to watch me gluing stuff. So what I'll do is I will just glue it where I want it to be and then I'll come back to you and I'll show you when it's done. Okay guys, so here is the final ladder. Ladder. Okay, so I just went ahead and kind of, I had a couple of extra leaves left too as it turns out. Um, so I just kind of wound it around the wreath and the box and it just looks cool. I mean, I'm really impressed. I like how it turned out. I was thinking of maybe adding like a pumpkin here or there, but you do have to know when to stop and I am too extra sometimes, so I need to work on that. Um, yeah, so I'm pleased with it. Tell me what you guys think in the uh, description box below, or not the description box below, in the comments below, let me know what you think. 
Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me see. Happy fall. And this was so inexpensive to make. If you guys can find stuff on the side of the road that you think has potential, by all means, pick it up. This is like kind of like an old ladder feel because it's like a very rustic looking, you know? Um, so that's that, kiddos. Okay, so <laughs> thank you for spending time with me today. I really appreciate it. Um, if you would like to um, like this video, go ahead and like it. Comment down below what you think, how it turned out. Um, let me know if it's something you think that you guys could do. Um, and if you want me to do other stuff, please request anything that you want. Um, again, this is Dollar Tree. This little wreath is Dollar Tree. The ribbon is Dollarama from last year. This is Dollar Tree. This, um, how do you call it? This um, garland is also from Dollar Tree. This is from a table that I found lay laying on the side of the road and I thought, holy cow, I could make ladders out of it. How cool is this, guys? It's very rustic, very worn down. It has like even some rusty nails in it. So it's really, really cool. I totally scored on that one. Uh, once I de-earwigged it, of course. Um, and that's all I have for you today. So have an excellent day and I will see you next Tuesday.